Imagine you're driving and suddenly an accident happens just ahead. Your dash cam could capture everything. But what if it dies when you need it most? Many people wonder why dash cams don't have rechargeable batteries like our phones or action cameras. At first glance, it might seem like a convenience or cost issue, but the real reason is a bit more technical. Let's break it down. Let's know first, what is a dash cam? Simply, it's a small camera designed to record your drive. Most of them plug into your car's power system, either through a cigarette lighter, USB port, or a direct hardwire connection. Some record just the front view, while others capture the rear, or even both at the same time. There are models that film in full HD or 4K, and some have interior cameras to keep an eye on passengers. While many dash cams do have a small internal battery or capacitor, it's not the same as having a full rechargeable battery like your phone. Let's look at the difference. A typical rechargeable lithium-ion battery, like in a phone or camera, can store a lot of energy, but it's sensitive to heat. Inside a car, temperatures can climb very high, especially in summer sometimes reaching 60 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius. A lithium battery in that environment can swell, degrade quickly, or even become unsafe. Dash cams, on the other hand, often use capacitors. These are small energy storage devices that don't hold a lot of power, but they're very good at handling heat and delivering just enough energy to save your video if the power suddenly goes out. So we can say, batteries store more power, but struggle with heat and have shorter lifespans in cars, while capacitors survive extreme temperatures and last longer without failing. Now, think about what would happen if a dash cam relied solely on a rechargeable battery. The heat inside a car, especially on the dashboard or near the windshield on a hot day, can become extreme, often reaching temperatures that are tough on lithium-ion batteries. Over time, this heat can cause the battery to degrade much faster than usual, leading to swelling, leaks, or even safety hazards. On top of that, a battery that's constantly being charged and discharged in this environment would wear out quickly, meaning you'd need to replace it more often than most people would want. This makes it highly unreliable for long-term use, especially if you want the dash cam to run during long drives or in parking mode while the car is off. Essentially, a battery-only setup struggles to provide the continuous, safe power that dash cams require to function properly. Dash cams are built to keep recording whenever your vehicle is running, and many are even designed to monitor your car while it's parked. Trying to rely on a small rechargeable battery for this kind of continuous operation simply wouldn't work. The battery would drain quickly and wouldn't provide the steady power needed for long-term recording, especially in parking mode or during long drives. This is why the standard approach is to keep the dash cam plugged into your car's power system or hardwired directly to the fuse box. Doing so ensures the camera has a reliable, uninterrupted power supply, allowing it to capture every important moment on the road or around your parked car. Some modern dash cams now come with slightly larger built-in batteries, which can give a bit more flexibility compared to traditional models. These batteries provide a short window of operation after the engine is turned off, allowing the camera to safely finish recording a clip or capture a brief moment in parking mode. In addition, a few cameras are experimenting with hybrid solutions that combine capacitors with small rechargeable batteries. This approach aims to balance the heat resistance and durability of capacitors with the energy storage of a battery. However, even with these improvements, these built-in batteries are still limited in capacity. They can't support long-term continuous recording or fully replace the need for a steady power connection to the car. Essentially, these hybrid setups offer convenience for short-term power interruptions, but dash cams are still designed primarily to work while connected to the vehicle's electrical system not as portable standalone cameras.
If you're using a dash cam, the key takeaway is straightforward. Keep it connected while driving. This ensures it can record continuously and capture any important moments on the road. Dash cams that use capacitors instead of traditional batteries handle heat much better, so they're less likely to fail or degrade over time, making them more reliable for everyday use. It's also important to remember that these cameras are designed to work with your car's power system, whether through a cigarette lighter, USB port, or hardwired setup. They aren't intended to be portable cameras you can pick up and use anywhere. Treating them as part of your car's electrical system keeps them safe, reliable, and ready to record whenever you need them. A common question we see in reviews and discussions online is whether a dash cam will drain your car battery. In most normal use cases, the answer is no. When a dash cam is plugged into the cigarette lighter, it usually turns off when the ignition is off, so it doesn't keep drawing power. However, things are a bit different if the dash cam is hardwired directly to your car's fuse box and has parking mode enabled. In that setup, the camera continues consuming power even when the engine is off, which over time could affect your battery if not managed properly. The good news is that with the right installation techniques, you can avoid this. Using an intelligent hardwiring kit or even an external battery pack allows your dash cam to work efficiently, giving you parking surveillance without putting too much strain on your car battery. This way, you get the benefits of continuous monitoring without worrying about leaving your car powerless. At the end, we can say that dash cams aren't built as rechargeable devices because heat, safety, lifespan, and the need for continuous power are far more important than portability. They're made to reliably capture what happens on the road while you're driving or away from your car. If this was new for you, it's an interesting reminder that sometimes the design choices we see are more about practicality than convenience. Would you prefer a dash cam with a battery or one with a capacitor that's more durable in heat? Let us know in the comments. For more tips, guides and insights about dash cams and cameras, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.